Okay, so break up your tiles in, uh, I put mine in a bucket so that they don't get all over. They kind of do anyway, but not as bad. And if you're concerned about the safety of your eyeballs, then you should probably put on some goggles. picture on your, we used a piece of sheetrock, but you can use a board or whatever you want. And it doesn't have to be perfect. That's what's great about art. I'm just going to do a vine with some flowers on it. Okay, so this is the mortar that you're going to stick the tile to the pitcher with. We had to mix ours, but you can buy it pre-mixed. If you mix it yourself, you want it to be this consistency. I'm not really sure what you can compare that to, but you can kind of see what it looks like. So now, I'm going, you can see my picture that I put on here and it doesn't have to be perfect at all just like that that's not perfect and then just put the mortar on the back of your tile and you're gonna wanna try to stay in the lines of your picture that you did and see how it like poked out like that it doesn't matter because we're gonna fill it in with grout when we're done So go ahead and fill in your your pitcher. There's got to be at least an eighth of an inch in between the tiles for when you uh, put the grout in. got all the tile on there and it's dried now so now we're putting the grout in just put a little on your what is this called a float I think it's whatever it is and just kind of go around and push down in different directions The grout is pretty much, well, it's hard anyway. When I push on it, it's not squishy. So we're going to get a sponge and a bucket of water. Get your sponge wet and then just wring it out. So most of the water is out of it. And then just rub it on here. This cleans off all the tiles and then it smooths out the rest of the grout. And probably just need to do this one time. And then after we're done with this part, then we'll start painting the tile. And when it gets dirty, then just rinse it out and squeeze out the water again.
start painting it. So we just gotta file it go away. Look around, look at your thing and see where you're, like right here I can see that's the middle of a flower. So you might want to go mark your your spots before you start painting them or if you can just eyeball it and know what color you need to do it then that will work too. So I'm going to paint this and I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, and if you're, I'm just going to paint each square, I think, just one solid color. But if you're a more talented artiste than I am, then you can go ahead and shade it and do whatever you want. So uh, once I get done painting it, I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> got mine all painted and now we're just going to make a frame for it and we'll be done. <laughs>